Hi, I'm Robert Martinez, State Historian of New Mexico, and this is New Mexico History in 10 Minutes. For this special edition of the series, we're going on the road to Las Trampas and 1700s New Mexico. But first, here's some background information. In the 1700s, New Mexico was in a state of war for the better part of 100 years. There was multi-directional conflict between Hispano people, Pueblo people on the one hand, and then Comanche, Apache, Navajo, Kiowa, Ute, different Plains Indians, nomadic Indians, coming back and forth, uh, exchanging violence, exchanging humans. It was a very, very uh, formative period in New Mexico's history because it's in this era that we see New Mexico culture really evolving with that blending of Iberian, Spanish, uh, Mexican, Hispanic, Mexican Indian, Puebloan, and of course, Genisaro people really coming into their own as part of the New Mexico genetic and demographic landscape. So this is what's happening in New Mexico during this time period. And what you see, if you could uh, go back in time, the, the boundaries of our state now, it's a very much a square uh, shape. But back then, the Hispanic people and the Pueblo people were huddled together tightly, for the most part, along the Rio Grande. And they had to come up with ways to protect themselves and stabilize the area. The Spanish crown did not invest a lot of uh, money or uh, human wealth or materials into this part of the world. So it was up to the Spanish governors and the New Mexican people to come up with uh, different creative ways to thrive and survive. So what we're going to do now is take a trip to northern New Mexico. This is a special episode where I'm going to take a road trip up to Las Trampas, New Mexico to show you a typical colonial period church and talk a little bit about the history of the area. The area was established uh, in 1751 by Juan de Arguello and some settlers. It was named after the Rio de las Trampas, the, a river that runs in the area where there were traps, probably to catch beaver or other small animals and creatures. And the official first name of the community was Santo Tomas Apostol del Rio de las Trampas. There must have been some sort of vanity in there because a couple of these communities in the mid 1700s were named Santo Tomas and the governor at the time was Tomas Vélez Cachupi. Anyway, let's go look and talk about Las Trampas. Buckle your seatbelts, put on your masks, and let's go. Vámonos a Las Trampas. Let's go to Trampas. The Church of San Jose de la Gracia in Las Trampas, New Mexico. This beautiful church, example of Spanish colonial, Mexican colonial, Puebloan architecture in New Mexico. This church was built 
starting in 1760, the people of Las Trampas met with Bishop Tamaroni Romeral, who was making a visita in 1760. So what he ended up doing was uh, granting them a charter to build a church. This town was established in 1751, in that period when Governor Tomas Vélez Cachupín was uh, establishing uh, buffer communities in places like Abiquiu, Las Trampas here, and also at Truchas. And he was quite ingenious. He got the excess population from places like Santa Fe and uh, Taos, um, some of them Genisaro, uh, Indians, and also, but also mixed blood people, people who are part Spanish, part Native American, and even of African ancestry. Um, so this town was established in 1751, and then when Bishop Romeral came through in his journal in 1760, he mentioned a, a clear water stream just south of here uh, that he drank from, and then he came up here and he allowed them to start building their church in 1760, San Jose de la Gracia. In 1776, um, Fray Atanasio Dominguez came up here and he described the people here as uh, not a very good blood. He said very few had good blood, very uh, racial and racist um, in any time period. But he did say that the people here were very merry and very happy. And I'm glad he said that because uh, I have uh, roots here on my father's side, uh, the Romero family. Uh, Juan Domingo Romero lived up here for a while in the uh, 1770s and 1780s. So um, this is uh, the church at Las Trampas. We can't go in, but if you went in, it's an amazing example of uh, sp Spanish colonial architecture on the frontier. We didn't have wealth up here, so there are no stone carvings and uh, spires reaching to the heavens. These are thick, thick adobe walls. And if you went in the, the choir loft, you'd have to uh, go up in a ladder. And the other place where you could see these kinds of churches is um, the Pueblos, places like Acoma, where you have very similar churches. And at the top of this church, you see the um, spires, the French spires that uh, Bishop LeMay put up uh, in the late 1800s to try to Frenchify and Europeanize this church. So there you go. Las Trampas, New Mexico. In the times of Bishop Tamaron or Fray Atanasio Dominguez, uh, the village of Las Trampas was probably uh, fortified, likely had some sort of wall around it. And when you look at the church, both on the outside and the inside, you get the idea that these churches were fortress churches on the frontier, on the edge of the kingdom and province of New Mexico in places like Las Trampas, Truchas, Abiquiu, Belen. Um, they're made of adobe brick, which is mud and grass, very ancient way of constructing buildings. Uh, you bake the bricks in the sun and then you build your wall and you then you cover or stucco with mud, adobo, marinade, if you will. The vigas that support the roof are huge, huge trees. Uh, they're massive and sturdy. And these are reminiscent of the churches you see in Northern Spain, the old uh, Romanesque Visigothic churches. These are not Visigoth churches, rather they're similar. They're of the same uh, spirit. Uh, you get the idea that these places were sanctuaries when there would be a raid by Plains Indians uh, and everyone might end up in the church fortified and safe. The windows are narrow, the walls are massive, they're huge, they're thick, and can withstand attacks. So 
by the 1850s, Las Trampas land grant was confirmed or um, reaffirmed by the U.S. government, and the community is still there to this day. It's a national treasure, and when you come to New Mexico, you have to visit Las Trampas. Thank you for joining me. See you next time. Hasta pronto.